Can you do this uh, with whatever your front leg is, the direction that you're going this way? It's your own speed. first uh, your body stays in one spot uh, try yes center of gravity stays right same place mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll try to point your feet down this way Lean over to the right, left hand up. Not correct. So, so, watch this. Lean over, you don't tilt your hips over this way. 
I'm trying to stretch this. So lean over, hand goes down. Do not collapse the hip over. Over. Go. And over to the left. Really stretch it. And then you can all can stretch further if you're collapsing your hip over. Lean over. Don't collapse your hip over. Better. This is the stretch. This is the stretch. You can do more, right? More over, further. Let your hand slide down. Breathe in and out. And let your hand slide a little further. And up. Hands behind your thighs and knees go down. Let your hands slide down your legs. Look to the rear. Stay there. Keep looking. You should be at least be able to see this corner between the wall and the ceiling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and up. And breathe in and bend at the waist and breathe out. Every time you breathe out, go down a little further. Stay there. See how you're doing? Good, good. Yep. Let's relax your neck. Relax your neck. Breathe out and go down further. You should be more flexible. You need to practice that. Yeah, relax your neck. Relax. Flip. This is a good relaxed neck. There we go. You see more relaxation. Relax your neck. Keep breathing out. Every time you breathe out, go a little further. Are the back of your knees tingling? Okay, oh, relax that neck, relax that neck. There we go, there we go. And if you, on, on the way up, if you have to um, put your hands on your legs to, as for support, that's great. Up. Okay, next. Knee up to your chest. And back. Kick the floor with your heel on the way back. No extra movement. Let me count for it. Let me count for you. Okay. Uh, I'll count and then I'll say back and then you go back. Kick the floor with your heel. One. Very nice one. You have higher. Back. Back. Nice, nice, nice. Up. Back. Oh, how about this? Keep this knee bent. And up. Bent and back. Don't stand up. up. Ready? Back. Up. Back. Okay, so you two have started. You're doing good at first, but you started putting your chest down to your knee, and I need your knee up to your chest and pull it in. Up, this. pull, 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 up. and back. Don't stand up. Up, <coughs> back, <clears throat> up, and back. Up, pull it in and back. Up, pull it in and back. Um, don't make your first movement. Let's make your first movement. Stand. Up. Right. There you go. And back. Up. And back. Go crouch in a little bit right first. Hip, hip, hip hop first. Up. There you go. And back. Change your side. Bend your front knee. Longer stance. And the challenge is keeping that supporting knee bent while you bring your knee up. Keep it bent. This. Maybe. Up. 
and back. I was thinking, keep your balance. As uh, to start out, to help keep your balance, concentrate on an immovable object in front of you, like the S or the E. Just keep concentrating on that right something something right in front of you. Uh, keep your concentration on that. That will help you with your balance. Up. Back. Nice. Up. Back. Hold it a little longer now. Concentrate on that immovable object, like a letter. Bend your front knee. Up. Nice. And back. Don't straighten your knee out. Front knee. Keep it up. Back. Keep it out. Up. Keep it out. And back. Up. Concentrate on that object. Back. Keep your concentration on that object. Up. Back. Don't straighten your knee. Don't straighten your supporting knee. Up. Nice. Back. And stop. And breathe. Uh, okay. Uh, on the dummies. Which one is the toughest one to move? This one? This one? Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, <coughs> you two on this one. You here. Me on. You there. Me on. And, and then, yeah. Well, uh, you there. You over here. Oh, no, no, didn't I say you over here, You said me there and you there. Yes. Okay, then I get that over here. Then you over here. Put in there. Okay. Uh, from, uh, I call it front stance, most of your weights get front. Um, kick, kick out. And back. Uh, I'll count. Now, uh, for you two, uh, one of you's going to hit first, so expect this dummy to move a little bit. It's good practice. Oh, thank you, Sir Thomas. It's good practice for when you're sparring because your opponent is always moving and uh, unexpected ways. Now you're too close. Close. You should be able to stretch out and kick back. There. Okay, don't get too close. Once you stretch your hip out, then push off of it to come back. Uh, nice. You're going to be uh, kicking. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Your energy should be going in a straight line this way. Not uh, what some people do incorrectly, the energy going up. The energy should go in. Us. In straight. Us. Okay, so that means your knee up real high, the foot goes straight in, it comes back, and back. So what are you asking? The ball of your foot. Do you know this kick? Yes. I, I call it uh, from Japanese, my getty, my meaning front, and getty meaning kick. Uh, and you can call it. Uh, Further distinguish it with my keage uh, getty, front snap kick, or my kekomi getty. Kekomi usually is with the heel. Could be with the ball of the foot, but you, it's a thrust. So instead of snap, that's a gospel piece, you're doing gospel piece with hope. With the count, Wait. front, front, front stance. How would you have their hands? That's, that's fine. That's, that's fine. 
One, get used to it. Don't jam your toes or anything on the first hit. Get used to it, too. <laughs> Don't push it, kick it. Okay, so cooperation. Yeah. It's an exercise in cooperation. Uh, a snap kick, um, the energy gets pushed through without you continuing to push it. So, uh, okay, uh, stop. stop here. Uh, in the 19, 19, uh, like 65 or 66, uh, All Japan Championship, the World Championship, it was the only World Cup uh, Championship. <laughs> now there are hundreds of World Championships, which doesn't make sense, but uh, it, it, it does in a way. Uh, so this was the only World Championship. In 1969, or when, whenever it was, I forget the year, there were two fifth degree black belts sparring in that tournament, and it was the finals. And they both hit each other with reverse punch, like, like that. But they didn't touch. And then they stopped, and then one of them fell on the floor, and he was dead. Neither one of them touched each other. They had a meeting, they said, you know, what do we do? They said, well, he didn't touch him. It's just that the energy that he was able to generate through training was so strong that his energy went through his opponent's body. And that's what you need to try to develop. That is a karate technique. Yes. They made a rule afterwards, no no more fish degrees uh, allowed to spar in the tournament. The fourth degree and below. Mm. Third degree is considered the fighting uh, uh, fighting level. The optimal fighting level. Yes. And then fourth degree is like more polished. And the fifth degree not allowed. The energy they generate is too strong. So you, you need to try to de develop that, and you do that by trying to just touch, or not even touching. So the swinging, you're not generating a lot of energy. You're, you're swinging a bag. You're pushing. But you want your energy to, a, a wave of energy to go through the bag and come out the other side. Yes. So, kind of like going, so you basically, in a sense, hit the wall. In a sense. I keep practicing. Yes. You ready? <laughs> One. Uh, your energy went up. Two. Can you, you see your energy going up? It, it should. It should go. Free. Concentrate on your kick. Okay, so uh, both of you try to kick at the same time. This is, a, this is more of an exercise for you two than it is for them. So you two have each other to go. There shouldn't be any really pushing on, on that. Maybe a little. Uh, try at the same time. Four. Five. Better. Six. It's almost like forgiveness. Seven. Like doing gospel peace. Like Eight. Bring your knee up. Nine. Straight in. Uh, Ten. Yeah. Okay, change your side. This. One. Two. Three. Four.
Oh, no, no, that's not. That's if you're backing up. Uh, moving forward. Uh, you're, you're smashing the foot with your support leg. <laughs> Here we go, same thing. And one, two, three. Down the floor. Turn. Right. Out, hands Three. out, hands out. Turn, hey. One, two. Ah. Okay, so uh, snap. That's not. 
catch your balance first. Three. Don't just let it. snap it back and then put it down. Turn. Hey. That's one. Snap it. Two. Balance. Then put it down. Three. Hands out. Hands out. Turn. One. Two. Hang in there. You're doing good. Three. Why do you set your toes pointed forward in the kick? And uh, the toes should be back because you're pushing. Yes. You're not kicking it up. Turn. Right. And stop. Breathe in. Moving forward, hands on your hip. Yes. From here. Step out with the right leg. Bend your front. Your belt knot should be pointed right to the front. So if I hold on your belt, it's right in front of you. Up, not, not to the side, to the front. Hands on your hips. Now, if you move forward, bend your front knee and you're pulling. You're not, you're not pushing at all. You're pulling and forward. Everybody here? Yes. Right leg in front. Okay. Pull with the front leg and step out. Pull with the front leg and step out. Uh, look this way again. We had our right leg in front. Don't bring the front foot back. Over. One. Two. Three. turn is always look where you're going first and then turn. So when you're turning, that, that heel stays in one spot. <coughs> also, so don't make any extra motion like it has to be quick. You have to be ready. So shifting means you're not ready. Uh. Hip in front knee. One, two, three. Not straight. Nice. Not straight. straight. Not straight. Four. Turn. Slide twist. Slide twist. And a little bit yeah. wider. There you go. Okay, uh, this time, oh, uh, not to the side, a little. Where you so I would pull you this way. And your shoulders are this way, right? When you move forward, you turn your belt up 90 degrees to a 45 degree angle. Let's try it. One. And then get the first thing is the line. I like this like this. Two. Make sure the knees, make sure they're done. Three. You turn. 
tips out of 45 degrees. Stepping, stepping forward. One, two, three. Now, uh, an elbow strike. Everybody really like this. So on the elbow strike, just watch. This is a this is a really difficult turn, so if you don't get it right away, it's, it's fine. So here we go. We see everybody at the same time. One. There you go. Yes. 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 Step it forward. And in front of you. Ten. Two. Three. Four. The turn is this way. Yes. Yes. Very good. Try a couple more times. Uh, moving forward. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Turn. Getting it as long as, as long as I can see those axions and neurons firing in your brain, I'll I'll hold it up for you. Moving forward, one, two, three, turn, hey. Similar, but uh, okay. So that was uh, outside, actually inside. Uh, that's inside elbow strike, and here's outside elbow strike. So you 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 wind up in the same position, but you're hitting with this, not this. So you wind up in the same position, but you close up first. 
close up first. This is hard. Okay, so um, first, it'll be left leg forward. You guard your face with your right hand and with the left arm. Sorry. Move forward, guard your face, close up right away, and guard. guard your face, close up right away. Let's try to move back. Guard your face, close up right away. Guard your face, close up right away. Okay, straighten your lines. Oh, just one line. One line. One line. Everybody's the back. Okay, you, you all spaced out. You all right, Jordan? Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit hurt. We feel like about on the line. And then we back. Okay. Answer up. Let's. Step forward with your left foot, left arm, block. Ready? Easier turning this way, it's less confusing. This is an easier technique to turn with. So practice the other one with that turn. It's harder. Okay, bend your front knees. One, two, three, four, five. Turn. Hang in there, Judy. You're doing good. You get it. If you use power and stop, breathe. When you breathe out, breathe out through here. Trying to find out where that sound was coming from. My watch said, "Looks like you've taken a hard fall." SOS. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's sit for a couple minutes. Okay. Uh, so karate, to me, this is my opinion. It doesn't mean that this is what you're being taught, or that somebody's right, somebody's wrong. This is just my opinion. Only my opinion. Yes. And it may be valuable, so I'm going to say it. Like, uh, in, karate is different than anything else that you're doing. Um, when you're at school or when you're at home and you want to be helpful, I want you to say, how can I help you today to your parents, grandparents? Uh, I want you to say that, not can I help you, but how can I help you? Meaning, I'm ready to help. Just tell me what, what I can help you with. I know you need help. Tell me what you want help with. 
what can I help you with? Uh, here in Karate, you don't need to take the initiative. Uh, your teacher in Karate, uh, I, I would call a sensei, uh, which is an honored teacher, but people don't call themselves a sensei. <laughs> it would be like presumptuous, like arrogant for me to call myself a sensei. I, I call myself a kyoshi, which means teacher. Uh, teacher of karate. So uh, here, you don't need to ask your teacher. But this is my opinion. It's just my opinion. You don't need to ask your teacher, do you want me to sweep the floor? Do you want me to line up the class? Do you want me to do this? Because he knows what's best for you. And uh, you don't need to bother him with, do you want me to do this? He'll tell you uh, what's best for you for your training. So here, here in Karate, my opinion, is different. You don't need to take the initiative and uh, you know, show that you're all engaged. Just do come here, practice your Karate. And then when he's ready for you to do something, he'll tell you. Uh, that's just my opinion. And then if I'm using you for a demonstration, like let's say that we're sparring or something, I want to show the class and you uh, some something about sparring. Um, it, don't get all freaked out and, oh, uh, I got embarrassed or I'm scared or something. Um, if you're the head of the class and you're called to assist the teacher, do what the teacher needs to do. Don't make it tough on him. Uh, don't make him all of a sudden, oh, you got scared, freaked out, or, or, or people, uh, I'm, I'm embarrassed because uh, he, he scored a technique on me. I, I need to score a technique on you. I need you to be there to let me score a technique on you and not make it difficult and chase you all around the room and out the door. Because <laughs> I've had that happen where, hey, uh, you, can see it, you can see it in the student's mind, in the senior's mind, that, oh, no matter what, He's not using me for anything. I'm just going to stay completely out of his reach. So he has to chase me, and I'll run out that door if I have to. But I'm not helping. You need to help. But if you have a problem with what the exercise is, it's okay to have a problem with what the exercise is. Because uh, things happen fast here. We're, we're, we're keeping you off balance on purpose. Uh, we're giving you tough things to do so that you know, in a controlled environment so that in the world, when you need to act or react, you'll do so like without even thinking about it because you've done it so many times before in practice. Okay. That's about all I have to talk about that. Uh, so, okay, next. Okay, stand up. Oh, uh, uh, stand up and uh, questions. Who has the first question? Yes. Um, what, what, what are we having a question about the move or? Oh, anything. About, anything. Why, why do we keep our body off to the side or on the front? Why, why would, you know? Uh, that's, that's, uh, uh, uh okay. So on, on that. Punching or front techniques, anything that goes front. Uh, you maximize power with everything going to the front or to the rear. You know, so you're backing up and you're doing uh, techniques. Uh, anything that comes from kind of the side. Uh, you uh, use the power of that side to generate the power on that side. So, so uh, if I'm doing a revolving kick, for example, um, I don't want my hip to be uh, straight to the target, here's my target. I want it to go in. Uh, but on, when I'm going straight in, I, I want my hip going 
straight in, both hits. Uh, roundhouse kick, you have to be to the, to the side. Now you can land this way, especially if you're doing a straight technique after. That's but straight techniques, basically, the answer to your question is straight in techniques, more power is generated with your belt knot to the front. Uh, techniques that go to the side, uh, there, there's a, one exception, <laughs> that, which is a jab. A jab, you're um, using this to go in, and there's a reverse jab, which your belt nut goes to the side. Because, uh, but that's a more advanced technique. It's more, um, now I'm with my hip this way, I'm more able to pull with this hip and I'm able to um, uh, put more weight here and bring a technique here. I, I can bring a straight one or one to the side. Mm. Do you think it's important to use your belt lines? Use what? Like to, to use your belt knot as center so you know which way. Okay. Uh, I, I think that would be a, up to you thing. Uh, but imagine in your mind, you know, that like your center is right here below your belly button. That's your center of power. Ah. So Jace was asking me yesterday. Um, Jace uses a lot. He's so strong. He uses his upper body, you know, to, to punch with. And I was using my hips. I was trying to get him to. So he was wondering, where's power come from? Oh, from your hips, yes. from your upper body, from your arms, from your. Uh, all together, uh, not the arms so much, but uh, your, your whole body uh, uh, facing the direction of your intended power. This is the strongest. This like for a jab, not strong. It's fast, not strong. Um, this, it's fast because you're pulling, you're, you're using your hip to, to drive it, so it's real fast, not strong. Uh, stronger would be this. That, this is stronger than that. This? Okay, okay next. Uh, left foot in front, uh, stepping punch. to the face. Ready? Hi. Next, pull and punch. Pull and punch. Not to the front or to the side? Uh, looks like you're taking a fall. <laughs> Remember, we, we just went through very basic, uh, stop, we just went, we're, we're building our technique. First, you build stance, right? And we didn't do it today, but you'd be doing this, this, uh, maybe from here, kicking, then later this. Uh, we went from walking um, to walking and kicking. Oops. Now we're doing walking and uh, uh, punching. It's not same, same thing. If we're striking, uh, then it's at the 45 degree. As I'm teaching. I'm sorry, Sir Thomas. No, I was just telling them to keep their eyes on you. Oh, oh, okay. But there is five minutes, just so you know. Hey. 
Get back up to your spots. Yes. Starting, starting That's right. Oh, wake up, wake up. It's almost over. Hang in there. <laughs> Looking a little tired. Uh, pike chain, left hand, left foot forward. Body straight. Ready? Body straight. Body straight. Go. <laughs> Body straight. Body straight. Body straight. Then your friend. He's stepping forward. One, two, three, four. This should be, you should feel it right here in the, what's this on the dorsi muscles? That's uh, belt knot or uh, belly button to the front. To the front, to the front. Fight. To the front. Make your body straight. Then uh, turning. Make your body straight. Ready? We're ready for the turn. Hey! Hey! Bike turn. Are we going on? Are we going like this, or are we going in and out? Always in and out. Uh, rarely. Do you want this because this is very unstable? You always want um, shoulder width between your heels. Ready, friend? One, two, three, four. Five, yay. Right. Okay, power here. Hey. Hey. 